What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Planko, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not going to build anything inside of the game as much as we're actually going to show you how to do something for the game. Uh, so recently I've been playing around with mods. You guys have been watching my videos and stuff, and I've been messing around with, uh, you know, trying to create some new coaster types and, and things like that that weren't ever possible before, but they are now thanks to mods. Um, these mods are a huge, like, absolutely awesome thing to happen to playing a coaster. Uh, the same way that mods completely changed Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 back in the day, I really feel like we're on the, the cusp of a new world with the game. Uh, the beginning of the greatness, like the golden years of Planko, basically. Um, and it's all thanks to a few different people, uh, two of which is Evan and Distance. Um, other people are also working on new mods and stuff that we're going to be able to add to the game, and lots of other stuff, but these two are the, are the two keys. They're the ones who have been developing the tools and stuff so we can actually do this. But now that I've actually kind of uh, given a shout out to the, the main two creators of being able to do the mods and stuff, um, I want to show you guys how to do it because you guys have been asking me, how did you do it? How did you install this? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And to be honest, at first I wasn't sure myself because I got into this very early and I didn't really have any instructions and it was pretty much just like I got the tools and was just like clicking around and messing around with them and I didn't even think it worked at first, but it did. So now though, I pretty much have a excellent grasp on how you can install these and it's a whole lot easier than what it was back when I tried it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this. So in the video description, there are a couple links. The first one is to this page right here where you're gonna grab the first piece. Now you wanna come over to this page. This is the PC Mod Manager. You wanna download pcmodmanager.zip and download that to your computer and then you're going to unzip that. Now, if you do not know how to unzip files, just stop right now, stop the video. Uh, you, you have no business trying to mess with the Planet Coaster files and modding it if you do not know how to unzip a, a file. All right, that being said, if you do know how to do that, do that. Uh, unzip it to any folder you want to put it in, um, doesn't really matter. And then also head over to the Planet Nexus mods page, that's the other uh, one that I have. Now you're going to want to grab two. Uh, the biggest one, the one that I've been messing around with the most here recently, is this one right here. No track limits, V3 realism overhaul. Uh, this lets you do like all kinds of stuff with the tracks. It lets you put like all kinds of awesome uh, car, like you can put every type of car on every type of track. Some of them don't work, some of them will crash the game, so be careful with that. But you can also do like other things like uh, you can now put the shuttle launch on the Mac coaster, on the Mac launch coaster, which makes it excellent for making, well, like uh, Crazy Eights, the coaster I just made, uh, which when I made the video it didn't have the shuttle launch, but it does now, and we'll get, we'll get to that in the video. But yeah, so like I said, this lets you do some awesome stuff like that. So this was one of the ones you probably want to get, and the other one is just like, basically any of these other ones. If you don't like, for example, this one right here, don't like the arrow sign, uh, American Arrows, like the logo that's on that train, no problem. Get rid of it. That's right. Just absolutely get rid of it. So once you're here, go over to Files. And you're probably going to need, if you don't have a Nexus Mods account, you're probably going to need to make one. But go ahead and do Manual Download. And just go ahead and click Slow Download because these things aren't that big. It's like 4.7 megabytes. Anyway, it's going to download that. And... You're going to grab that and then you're going to unzip that file. So once you get that unzipped, uh, which lets me, let me grab this here and put this where I need it here. All right, so once you have downloaded both of those files, what we're going to do then at this point is we're going to go into PC Mod Manager and we're going to look down until you find this right here. It says pcmodmanager.exe. It's got a little red logo right there. Double click on that to start this. And the first thing you're going to have, this is going to be blanks. I've already got Realism Overhaul V3 installed, so don't worry about that. As you can see, it's created by Evan and Distance. The, this is why I gave them so much credit in the beginning of the video. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to install that American Arrow one first. So when you first load up PC Mod Manager, it is going to ask you where your Planet Coaster is installed. Now again, this is something you should probably know 
If you don't, it's usually under Steam uh, and Common common Apps, I believe, something like that. Steam Apps Common. You should probably figure that out. And again, if you do not know where your Steam or your Planet Coaster folder is or your Steam folder for that matter, uh, you probably, again, have no business downloading mods for Planet Coaster. But once you know where your Planet Coaster folder is, you click on the thing, install that so it knows where it's at, and then you should get this page right here. So what we're going to do is install new mod, and it's going to come up here with this, and then it's going to ask, hey, where is your, uh, where's the folder that you want to install the mod? So we're going to find the folder. Mine is, of course, on the desktop here, so we're going to go to that, and, oh, wrong desktop. And American Arrow. All right, so just go to the folder where your mod that you want to install is. Mine is this one right here. Click on that, click open, and you'll see this black screen right here. It's going to do some stuff. Let it do whatever it's got to do. Don't worry about it. Let it finish. All right, so like I said, just give it a minute or so. Once it finishes installing, it should pop over here. Now, I want to do a key note real quick on this one particular, on the Realism Overhaul V3. When you're installing this, just a huge note on this. I, I You need to know this. When you click to install the Realism Overhaul V3 mod, this is going to take a while. Just, you know, go make a sandwich, watch your favorite show, or whatever. It's going to be a bit of a slow process. You will notice that PC Mod Manager will pop up here and says not responding. It looks like it crashed. It hasn't crashed. Give it more time. Eventually, it will finish, and you will have these two things installed here. So if you start with the Arrow Looper and then you do Realism Overhaul, just remember what I'm saying here. This does take a little bit. The game will pop, or the PC Mod Manager will pop up and say not responding, most likely. And if you watch this over here, you'll keep seeing this is moving and moving and moving and moving. Eventually, it will finish. But, you know, like, go watch your favorite Netflix show. If you need one, I suggest uh, Sabrina. Sabrina's pretty good. Go watch Sabrina. First episode, excellent. Watch the rest of the season from there. Anyway, come back. Once you get this installed, that's all you got to do right there. Your mods are now installed. Once you tell PC Mod Manager where the steam folder is where planet coaster is located then all you got to do is click on install new mod and you're good to go now you don't have to use launch planet coaster from the mod manager you can launch planet coaster any way you choose i have a desktop icon so we're going to jump in to planet coaster here real quick okay now that we actually have planet coaster loaded up what we're going to do now is I'm just going to personally just pause the game here and kind of zoom out here. And let's go over here. Choose any coaster that you actually want to play with. I, for one, am going to do this Mac coaster because this one's a little different and I want to show you guys this. So uh, I'm going to click on to do the Mac, the Vector, basically, uh, launched Mac coaster. And as I said, V3, version 3 of the No Track Limits mod lets you add shuttle launch to the Mac coaster. Now there is one caveat to this. That's right, caveat. I'm using nice big words. Anyway, um, there is a thing. So if you try to use shuttle launch booster, you will notice there's no track. Now, this is not as it wanted to happen. Uh, I literally reached out to them this morning and asked them, I says, hey, I noticed when you try to use the shuttle launch on the Mac, it doesn't actually have any track. Is you know, did I do something wrong or is this what it's supposed to be like? So they tried to fix it, but unfortunately, technically, it's a limit of the mod so far. There's really no track piece that will work for this particular coaster that has a shuttle launch on it. So instead, we get nothing at all. So uh, you're going to get invisible track, but it still works. So we're going to switch off to that and I'm just going to... Basically, we're just going to make this go around like that. And I'm going to put it oop, like that. There we go. And down, down, down. Now I'm going to go backwards at this point. Again, when you're building a shuttle launch coaster, you want a shuttle launch before and after the actual station. So there we go. And go back to regular track. we go and just 
kind of bend this down a little bit. There we go. And connect the dots, la 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 la. All right, there, now we have a shuttle launch Mac coaster with invisible track. So as you can see here, the track is there. We can't select it. So you're like, well, wait, if you can't select it, how do you change all the settings? Select the track before it or after it, whichever one. Grab the little middle line, move it backwards. And now you can actually select that piece. Look at that. So we're coming down here and I'm going to say send it to 60 miles an hour with maximum acceleration. No launch delay. Um, and then backwards. Yeah, 30, 36 is fine for backwards with uh, with a 7 miles per hour launch. Sure, that works. And bring that back here to this. Same thing here. Turn up the miles per hour forward. Reverse target speed. That's fine. And we'll turn that up. Okay. No launch delay. All right. Now, don't start test yet. Click done. Uh, what we're going to do is go in here. When you're running a shuttle launch, you want it to have... Stop at the station pass. Uh, we're gonna do two. So once it passes by the station the second time, that's when it will actually stop. So we are going to now. I'm gonna just turn down how many cars is on that. Three's fine. Yeah, that's whatever. And hit test. Unpause the game, and this should work just fine. So you will notice again. There's invisible track, but the car is running on the track. I know what you're thinking. That's crazy. What? How? Ghost trains. Whatever. I'm not 100% sure this will work, but uh, let's see here. It worked on my, my coaster I designed for the other park, so yeah, there it's going. <laughs> I didn't give it a long enough uh, launch, so I wasn't sure if it would actually go over that. But anyway, just for test purposes, as you can see, you can do some crazy wild things. But this isn't all you can do. I can literally change this to anything I want. If I want to, I could put, um, let's see, I could put, oh, I know what I want to put on here. Let me find it. Uh, if we want to, we could make it a trade. We could make it a launch train. I'm, I'm telling you, it's wild, some of the things you can do here. We can have the train launch and go over the track. Now, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, but this is, how is this going to work? There's literally no track there. Well, that's up to you. So what I personally did was I took and made a second train, a second coaster, and made the track, and then I just took the track and then covered it up into that. Look at that. <laughs> that's it's it's that's hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> okay, unexpected result is unexpected. Alright, that's that's wild. Is it gonna go forward now? Oh, please let go forward. This is fantastic. <laughs> All right. Sometimes you're going to get some strange results, but, you know, play around with it. Uh, the game even might crash sometimes if you use the wrong coaster car type. Uh, I noticed it happens with go-karts. Try not to use go-karts on coaster track. It doesn't really want to work too well. Um, but there we have it. This is how you install and play around with the mods and stuff. Mostly, I'm sure you guys just wanted to learn how to actually install the mods. The rest of this you can figure out yourself, play around with, test whatever you want to do. Look at that. <laughs> All right. But, um, stop that. It's, it's gonna, it keeps grabbing my attention. Anyway, um, but there you go. So, as I was saying, to hide the fact that there's no track here, I literally just made another coaster like this. I just took this, put it over here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, put the track up there like that put one in front one behind all right there we go um delete that and that there we go uh i mean yeah we're probably gonna want to connect that too there we go all right just like that now obviously your coaster is going to be slightly different depending on how you actually create it but yeah you just want to line these up and this, this can be i i get it this can be a pain but for now, if you want to do it this like this, this is what you're going to have to do. It's not so bad, really. So, yeah, it's good enough. All right. And there we have it. There you go, guys. All right. So, another episode of 31 Days of Planko. How to install mods and the mod PC mod manager. 
there you go. There you have it. Made it easy as pie for you. Hopefully you guys can follow these directions. Uh, everything's in English, of course, because, you know, it's hard to find anything in English from having mods and stuff like this. I remember this from the Roller Coaster Tycoon three days. Everything was like German and it was hard to kind of learn, basically. So, uh, but secrets revealed. There you have it. If you want to know how to do it. Links and everything down in the video description below. I'm out. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time.